Functions nice. These wide cutters leave a nice big round hole. These are on the surplus market, usually for, I've seen them for three, in fact, I bought this one for $300, three to $400. So uh, just an excellent buy, I'd highly recommend it. Yeah, those wad cutters really show up nicely. There you go. The Ballister Molina 45 ECP caliber semi-automatic pistol made by Hafdasa, which uh, the Argentine Army adopted this gun in, the in 1938, which it actually commissioned Hafdasa to build this pistol. And two of the specifications were that it have interchangeable magazines with the Colt 1911, which was in service in the U.S. Army at the time, and the barrel needed to be uh, interchangeable with the Colt 1911. And other than that, there are no other interchangeable parts on this pistol. Now, if you look at it, it has the same, pretty much the same profile as the 19, the Colt 1911. Uh, but I just happen to have a 70 series Colt 1911 here, and as you can see, the profiles are really close. But uh, the, one of the biggest differences is there is no grip safety on the baluster. Here's the grip safety right here. It needs to be depressed before the gun will fire. Uh, it has an external uh, removable mainspring housing, which the uh, baluster has an integral mainspring housing, and that's what that little knob is. The grips, as you can see, typically the grips are this vertical, uh, these vertical grooves. Uh, they will not interchange with the Colt. And, um, and then as you can see, and these are just some main things, the, uh, the serrations on the slides are, are different. This particular Ballister Molina has had night sights put on it uh, before I, I acquired it. But uh, this is an excellent shooting gun. I highly recommend it. It even has the barrel bushing that uh, the Colt sports. It breaks down the same as the Colt, except of course in this back area. But uh, the good news is I, I highly recommend this specifically because it does accept Colt magazines readily and it functions well. Uh, I have shot a lot of hollow points through it. It can be a little finicky, but most of your, even your Series 70 and a lot of your older guns are finicky on ammo. So um, this gun has a lot of um, heritage from actually Star and Llama, the Spanish gun companies, um, which also made 45 automatics. But um, this gun was had a big contract from the British Army during World War II, and over eight to ten thousand guns were um, contracted to be made in exchange mainly for steel because the Argentines were having a hard time getting raw materials with the war going on. If it is a British model, it will have a B in the serial number at the beginning of the serial number, and those are very collectible. Uh, this gun, the contract ended in 1953, but they remained in service in Argentina until the 80s. And it was also in many other uh, South American countries that this gun served in. Uh, it was taken over by the, the DGFM Sistema Colt, which was a direct copy in, of the, uh, the 1911. It was actually the M1927 model. Uh, replaced this gun in the Argentine Army and uh, back in 1953. An excellent gun. I would highly recommend it. I, when these first came on the surplus market in the US back in the late 80s, probably early 90s, they were running 148 bucks dealer cost. And uh, just an excellent deal. And we bought a bunch of them at that time, which we sold after we did a lot of modifications to them just for fun. These guns now on the, on the, the uh, second hand market are around Three, three fifty, four hundred dollars, according to, sh to uh, the condition, and uh, I would, I would recommend this pistol. I shoot a lot of forty-five, and uh, this is just a fun one to shoot. In fact, you're going to see a little bit of that footage coming right up.